Hello, and welcome back! Last time we were escaping from a big tree, and we're just jumping from platform to platform here. Just gotta get out of here before time runs out! Just gotta get out fast. Um, oh wait just a second, I'm not escaping from a great tree. Fudge, this is the wrong game, be right back. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. This is Miles Luigi. We gotta go out fast. Gotta escape. Gotta escape. Gotta escape. All right. Fun fact. Well, we don't have to do too much other than escape. We do actually have to fight two enemies here. We can't run around them at all. On the bright side, I have enough attack power that they won't even get a chance to counter attack. Ta-da. Go sick and Goomba. Okay. Even though we're in a big hurry, there's a star piece in this bush. Voila! Just open the door and oh, just, oh, just some puny just got lost. Grr! Gotta go back. I don't think you absolutely positively have to save all the punies, but I will. I just always have. It's not like we're playing on hard mode and we only have one minute or something like that. No, we're playing on the only difficulty Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door gives us, which gives us 300 seconds. Or, in other terms, five minutes! Ah! Ah! Get back here! Blah, 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 blah. Uh, there's only 213 seconds till this place blows up, and um, I'm just gonna hang back here, you know, not even look for Philippines following Mario, or Mario, or Goombella. I'm just gonna hit back here. Wait for the place to blow up. Yeah. Well, I guess the punies, I guess, haven't seen this part of the tree because of this stupid log that's in the way. They've never crossed the tree beyond this point. Wow, that's a lot of tree that they've never seen. <laughs> Alright, let's hope I can blow them all across this time without any major hiccup. Don't run in the log, don't run in the log, don't run in the log! Yes! Ah. Come on, come on down. Come on down. Come on, last one. Don't hang me up. Ugh. Grr. Go. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna hang back here. You know, it's comfortable back here. You know, not get blown across. I don't like getting blown across. Alright, we're gonna do something fun here. I'm not sure how many people have ever done this before, but you can save during the escape sequence. Now, this honestly is bad programming. Nintendo should have never allowed you to do this. When you see what uh, happens, you'll see why. So I just saved the game and reset my system. Now we just have to wait through the screens here. I have to select my file. And oh my gosh, you hear the timer, you hear the timer, you hear the timer? Yes, I still have a timer going off. As should be. However, I've never actually tested this, but I believe you can make a game ending save there if you save there in a bad time. You have five seconds to listen to this conversation! One of those. Never actually tested it, though. As we now see the puny elder just berates and try to stop Lord Crump, but unfortunately her old age gets to her and she can't stop him. And the timer's still going! Oh no, we have to fight Lord Crump on a timer! Actually, no, he turns it off. That'd be interesting, though. Fight Lord Crump. You have two minutes to beat Lord Crump! No, but we do have to fight him, though. And we fight a giant X. Actually, no. We have to fight a giant mechanical origami paper thing. A mechanoloid equivalent of paper. Boss 2! Magnus Van Grapp. Pay attention to the audience. It's uh, perfectly distributed here. Half punies, half x knots. So yeah, Magnus Von Grapple, the big robot origami thing. 
thankfully he isn't too threatening, but he does have a defensive one. So those new boots you got, well, you'll probably still be using them, but it pays to increase your attack power if you use them. And also watch out for the arms. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and do one charge. Now I could just deck out Mario and charge a bunch of times and finish him off on one turn. First off, I suck at dodging this. Damn it. Urgh. I suck at dodging it. Alright. So yeah, I'm not going to do multi, multi, multi charge even though I could. I'm only going to do two attacks. At least that's what I plan to do. Here we go. Cool the fists. Oh, cool, we don't have to tattle the fists. X. Fist. <laughs> Let me just get rid of them. There we go. Oh, that's. I forgot that's an attack. Him just rattling the ground. Alright, this should be done in one more turn. Alright, as long as I don't mess up my action command, only one more turn. Let's see what he does. Huh? Risky man. If I mess this up, Mario might not live. That would suck. We're not gonna do that! Here we go! Oh, thank god. Two HP. Whew. You're going down, Lord Grump. Hola! Yes, just by jumping out of the machine enough, he, he's gonna just blow up! Boom! Quite a pair of boots Mario has. Oh yeah, and Goombella's head. <laughs> Able to take down paper machines. And instead of helping Lord Crump, his little fellow x knots run away. I think I know that one that was just running past and tripped. Mm. Alright. Crystal Star time. Woohoo! End of chapter. <laughs> and so, after plumbling Lord Crumb, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the X-Nots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. The Boggly Woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last our heroes hear from the vile X-Nots. They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. And I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. This is Miles Luigi. Wow, feel the wrath, Mario. Now, unlike in just regular Paper Mario or just increased your attack power, we also have this new ability which is basically destruction all around it. I will show you. Watch this. Um, fudge. I think I'll restart my recording. I definitely will!